Like clockwork, NBA 2K launches every September and reignites the age-old debate of who's overrated, who's underrated, and how the series' last iteration feels according to the passionate fandom. This year, NBA 2K23 muddies those waters in an interesting way. Not only will players take the court with modern superstars like Steph Curry and Kevin Durant, they'll be able to travel back to the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s and play as legends like Bird, Duncan, and Iverson. For more on these new features, as well as details on the NBA 2K23 release date, pre-order details, and more, here's everything you need to know about NBA 2K23. While annual sports sims typically have few innovations outside of updated rosters year to year, it appears NBA 2K23 is poised to add several new features to its suite of modes. NBA 2K's most popular mode, My Player, is back. Every year, the team does a great job of making your custom character the star of the game, and a new storyline in this year's game will do that once more. This time, the story starts with you actually getting to choose your own landing spot via the NBA Draft. While that may sound great, there's a catch. The team's fanbase wanted a different player, so you'll be tasked with winning over your new fanbase when they've got wandering eyes for your rival, Shep Owens. From being booed on stage at the draft to exploring the city and seeing fans wearing Owens' jersey rather than yours, the environment will be hostile at first. But winning solves everything, doesn't it? Throughout the storyline, you'll work to gain the fans' admiration and prove over the course of your career that you were the right pick all along. The team of Visual Concepts says this year's My Player is the biggest the team has ever done, and the story will include cameos, as it often does, including rapper Boz and music producer Elite, both of whom work under J. Cole's label, Dreamville Records. Next up is My NBA Eras. This year's My NBA mode, which is the series' take on a season's long franchise mode, lets players jump backwards in time across four distinct starting points. 1983, 1992, 2002, or present day. These years weren't picked at random. They each represent a season immediately preceding NBA drafts that forever changed the sport. In 1983, you'll start a year before Michael Jordan was drafted. In 1992, you'll tip off one season before Shaq arrives to forever change how bigs play in the league. In 2002, you'll begin just before recent and modern stars such as LeBron James and Dwayne Wade made their debuts. The studio is calling these the Magic vs. Bird era, the Jordan era, and the Kobe era respectively. In this mode, players can alter the past and future of the NBA forever. Trade Magic Johnson to the Bucks or make the mistake of drafting Michael Jordan with the Celtics when he belongs with the Bulls. The choices are yours to make and your actions will ripple out over the years to come as you play season after season. You'll even be able to rewrite the NBA history books by making it so maybe Jordan doesn't retire for two years in the middle of his run for six NBA titles, repeating the three-peat. Like in the typical My NBA mode, you can keep it realistic and execute fair trades for the players you want to move, or you can turn off CPU trade logic and move players around the league like you're redecorating your kitchen. The rule books and players' playing styles will all be accurate to their respective times. Even the players' shorts will be respective of their era, from the short shorts of the 80s to the Iverson era long baggy shorts to today's style landing somewhere in between. Speaking of Jordan and the Bulls, the Jordan Challenge will be returning for the first time since its debut in NBA 2K11. This time it's growing in size from 10 challenges to 15, but also in how immersive the mode will be. Like in My NBA Eras, reliving Jordan's games from the 80s and 90s will include visual filters and other touches to put players in the right time and place. Period-specific arenas and advertisements, as well as old-fashioned broadcasts right down to the on-screen scoreboard and exclusive commentary teams are all included. This includes classic games like Jordan's final Last Dance game of 1998 against the Utah Jazz, along with going all the way back to his college years with his 1982 NCAA National Championship game, UNC vs. Georgetown. Each challenge will be accompanied by talking head segments that use real interviews the Visual Concepts team conducted for the game mode to help contextualize the importance of each playable reenactment. They include interviews with people such as Marv Albert, commentator for the Shrug game, rival Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, former teammate Dennis Rodman, coach Phil Jackson, and more. 
Personally, as someone who grew up with the Bulls during the Jordan era, this is the mode I'm most looking forward to. While all of these historical modes sound like a blast, the real question is if the Encore gameplay will hold up. To this end, Visual Concepts believes it's figured out the cure for what ailed last year's perimeter-heavy game. New shooting mechanics will create more separation between the game's mediocre shooters and its elite marksmen, meaning you'll need to play well at all levels on offense and won't be able to simply rely on hitting open shots. Meanwhile, a greater sense of power and paint dominance should give players more ways to win than just draining threes like the Warriors. Apparently, this year's game is inspired by the way Giannis Antetokounmpo plays with his aggressive slashing style. According to NBA 2K gameplay director Mike Wang, the team has expanded on tools meant to attack the basket. The team has set out to improve its pro stick, giving players more maneuverability. You'll be able to perform new gesture combos like double throws and switchbacks, meant to provide shooting windows in tight quarters. The double throw gesture is meant to help hop step layups, while the switchback gestures are used for euro step and cradle layups. NBA 2K23 releases on PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, and PC on September 9th. Like most sports games, your choice of which version to pick up consists of several different editions, with each pricier one growing in its added content, all the way up to a sold out version that includes a year of NBA League Pass, which grants live access to all NBA games all season long. For $60, you can pick up the standard last gen version of NBA 2K23, while current gen will cost you $70. Meanwhile, the Digital Deluxe Edition of NBA 2K23, which includes My Team Points, Tokens, Promo Packs, and more will cost $80. For $100, you'll be able to net the Michael Jordan Edition, which includes yet more bonus content. Finally, there's the Championship Edition, which will cost $150. The main draw here is the 12-month NBA League Pass subscription, which gives you access to live games throughout the year. Considering the NBA League Pass costs $15 per month, this isn't a bad option if you're a big NBA fan and want the League Pass either way. Granted, it is currently sold out. And there you have everything you need to know about the upcoming NBA 2K23. Make sure to come back for our full review of NBA 2K23 next week. For more on NBA 2K23 and all things games, make sure to stay tuned to GameSpot, and we'll see you next time.